Hello, I'm Michael, and welcome to the Medlock Method Chinese Language Builder. 你好，我是邱老师。And this is part three of food and drink. Yeah, 吃吃喝喝。And this time we're looking at the main ingredients that go in the dishes. Yes, and also some、uh, some meat as well. Some pork and beef and chicken. Yes, and stuff what like you put、that. in, what what you eat, what you don't eat. So we're going to be asking people to put things in or not to put things in, and、oh. asking if it has it in it. Yes, and all put more or put less. Right. Okay then. 我不吃肉 I don't eat meat. That's right. And you don't, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> 我不吃肉 What a surprise that you started us off with this one. <laughs> <laughs> 我不吃肉 That character for "ro" is quite interesting. It actually looks like a. A bit of meat on the barbecue, doesn't it? It it is. It's it actually here. It it means this um the muscle muscle fibers and yeah, yeah. yeah okay H- here actually it's the fibers、oh, okay and、I、this just... is a piece of meat here and you can see the fibers on top of it. Well, so worryingly, it also looks like the characters for people. So <laughs> <laughs>、mm. <laughs> people is built by. Meat as okay,、well. I, I thought that would be a good explanation. <laughs> okay, let's start off with some of the various meats. Now, obviously, many people across the world have a taboo against pork.、Mm-hmm. So, can you tell us the Chinese for pork? Zhu zhou. Lovely and simple pig meat. That's right, zhu zhou. Tell me, I don't eat pork. 我不吃猪肉。Let's go for the next one on our list. That's also taboo to many people, especially Hindus, but also to some Chinese people. Beef. 牛肉 Cattle meat. That's right. Chinese people, many Chinese people, especially older people, do not eat beef. That's because we we used to be in、um, agricultural、uh, society, and people use cattle to To draw the plow. That's right, and because they are your colleagues, be a bit ungrateful to eat your friends. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So no, no. That's why my mother doesn't eat beef. Ah,、oh, interesting.、Mm. Tell me, my mum doesn't eat beef. My mum doesn't eat beef. Okay, I'm not aware of any food taboos on chicken, but we need chicken as、uh, part of a normal <laughs> meat-eating diet. <laughs> How do you say chicken, Chalasha? Chi ro, so it's quite easy. It's chicken and meat. Chicken meat, chi ro. Tell me, I don't eat chicken. 我不吃鸡肉 And the next one on our list, which many people in many countries only eat, and then some countries they don't eat.、Mm-hmm. And this is lamb or mutton, but also goat meat. That's right.、Yeah. You have the same word, don't you? Yeah, that's right. It's called yang zhou. Yang, yang is um, it could be goat. It could be sheep. It's a woolly thing, <laughs> normally white. <laughs> Eats grass. Yang <laughs> zhou. Tell me, my friend doesn't eat lamb. 我朋友不吃羊肉 And the last one that we're going to have is seafood, because many people don't eat it either for food taboos. I know many.、Uh, Jewish people and the Muslim people don't eat it, but also I have a friend who comes out in a very nasty allergy. Yeah. So how do you say seafood? Hai xian. Hai is ocean, and xian means fresh, so it's ocean fresh. And this word,、uh, xian, is quite interesting. Is the left hand side is fish, and right hand side is goat. Fish, fish goat. and goat. The fish and goat together, because from traditionally, or should I say, the ancient time, you eat the meat, you have to eat them raw fish, either from the water or from the land. So fish and goat, you have to keep them fresh. I see. So it's not a surf and turf barbecue. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
海鲜 Seafood. Tell me, my family doesn't eat seafood. My family here, although of people we 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 say the 家人 but a lot of time it, as a group we say 我们家 Okay, 我们家我们家不吃海鲜我们家不吃海鲜 Okay. So after you tell the waiter or waitresses that、uh, you don't eat some certain food, and then you want to ask them, 这道菜里有肉吗 Does this dish have meat in it? That's right. Okay, I repeat it again. 这道菜里有肉吗 To which the answer is not very much often, or it's it's, it's all right. It's only a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> for for me, sometimes it could be、um, interesting when I go to restaurant and tell them, you know, I don't eat meat. So, so does it contain meat in this dish? And they will always tell me, 一点儿 just a little. Yeah, 一点儿 Or sometimes they say, no, but it's got chicken in it. <laughs> I think the the most ridiculous thing I have heard is that、uh, they said there's no meat. We came out with us wings. I say there's no meat. You told me. They say oh. It's only bones. <laughs>、oh, fair enough. I repeat the sentence again. This dish is inside. Inside this dish. 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 Do you remember how to say pork? 猪肉 Tell me, I don't eat pork. 我不吃猪肉 Ask me, does this dish have pork in it? 这道菜里有猪肉吗 ？Tell me yes. 有。Do you remember how to say beef? 牛肉。Tell me I don't eat beef. 我不吃牛肉。Ask me, does this dish have beef in it? 这道菜里有牛肉吗 ？Tell me no. 没。Do you remember how to say chicken? 鸡肉。Okay, we'll make this one a little more challenging. Tell me, I don't eat chicken. Does this dish have chicken in it? 我不吃鸡肉，这道菜里有鸡肉吗 ？Tell me a little. 有一点。So it's okay for you to eat it, even though you're vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember how to say lamb? 羊肉。Tell me, he doesn't eat lamb. Does this dish have lamb in it? 他不吃羊肉，这道菜里有羊肉吗 ？Tell me no. 没。And do you remember how to say seafood? 海鲜。Tell me, we don't eat seafood. Does this dish have seafood in it? 我们不吃海鲜，这道菜里有海鲜吗 ？Tell me no. 没，不，没有。
Good, well done. Okay, let's move on to the next one. 请不要用荤油。荤油 is animal fat. Yeah, 荤 actually means、uh, not vegetarian. Okay, fair enough. Okay, 荤 is something that you mix together, not vegetarian. And here it, it indicates veg、um, animal oil. Okay. And that's quite important because although people will grudgingly understand that you don't want meat put in it, sometimes they might not understand that you don't want it fried at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fried in pork fat or something. Yeah, I have the experience. You know, I want to vegetarian food and t- telling them I don't want meat, but they put pork fat in. You know, you can taste it. You ask them, I say, I did not put、um, meat in. Yeah, and technically they didn't. <laughs> no, it's only fat. <laughs> Well, because a lot of people in China, you, you cook in pork fat, don't you? Yeah, a tisbit. My, my mum does. Okay, 请不要用荤油，不要用 don't use. Remember, we have a don't before as well.、Mm-hmm. Don't, and there's another way to say it would be 别 So here you can say 请别用荤油 And that's more mustn't, isn't it? Please,、yeah. you mustn't use. Yeah, be、mm-hmm. stronger.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and "buya" is sort of the softer. You, you don't want to use that. So, so literally, "buya" is not want. Not want, not necessary.、Mm-hmm. As we just mentioned, the usual oil that people use for cooking will be pork fat. So, can you tell us the Chinese for pork fat? Or、well, let you guess. So the pork will be the pig fat, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, "zhu yao." That's right. Use pig oil. Use pig oil. Okay, so don't use pig oil. Let's practice that one.、Mm-hmm. Tell me, please don't use pork oil. Using, 别哦不要 Let's start off with just 不要请不要用猪油 And the next one that you might not want people to use would be chicken stock if a soup is being made or something. Yeah. So the chicken will be ji. Yeah. And what is the stock? Jing, yong ji jing ji jing jing means a actual jing in Chinese literally is a spirit, is an essence. So please do not use chicken. Chicken spirit, essence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's、okay. not the actual chicken. It's just the idea of the chicken. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> And one more time. Ji jing. Using bie. Tell me, please. You mustn't use chicken essence. Please don't use chicken essence. See, even I'm saying essence now instead of stock. <laughs> <laughs> But you didn't use a、uh, chicken spirit, though. I didn't use chicken spirit. This is true. <laughs> next time, maybe. Now the next one that people put in food that, especially if you have an allergy or you're either Muslim or Jewish, would be seafood sauce, and you wouldn't want that put in.、Mm-hmm. Okay, seafood sauce is 海鲜 Jiang, look at the word Jiang here. Okay, bottom bit here, can you recognize it? It's like a looks like the alcohol. That's、sign. right. So the sign actually is an urn, and you put things in the urn and sit there for ages, and that is Jiang. This is a this is the the word. So alcohol, let's say. You have to put it in there, and for some and let time. Let it mature.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and jiang, the pickles and or hai xian jiang, is something they put in there and they sit for a while. And they、so、ferment or they ripen or just develop ha- their flavor. That's right. It doesn't have to be ferment. It could be, but it doesn't have to. Okay, and here hai xian jiang. Right, using bu yao. Tell me, please don't use seafood sauce. 请不要用海鲜酱
Next, we're going to say put in pork. And put in will be fang. Fang zhu rou. Put in pork. And as this is a very important one, we will use beer.、Mm. Especially in Chinese dishes, you know, pork meat is um. It's、very small shreds, just to give yeah, it a little bit of flavor. flavor.、Mm. Yeah, you know, and so we want to tell people, please do not put even a bit of that. Okay. So again, using beer, tell me, please don't put any pork in. Please don't put any pork in. And、something that's very common in Chinese cooking is monosodium glutamate (MSG) to stimulate、yes. the flavour. <laughs> yes. Now, my mother has、uh, high blood pressure, and many people with high blood pressure shouldn't be having MSG in their food. So, first, you need to tell us what is MSG. Wei Jing, and put it in will be Fang Wei Jing. So that's literally the way will be flavour essence. Yes. Yeah. Flavor essence exactly. Wei Jing. Using Bu Yao, tell me, please don't put any MSG in. Please don't put any MSG in. Please don't put any MSG in. Okay, let's move on to the next one. 请不要放味精。So just what we have. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. We've done just done.、Ah, I know、okay. Michael was going to say similar. No, exactly. It's so similar <laughs> that it's exactly the same. <laughs> yes. 请不要放味精 Please do not put 味精 MSG. Yeah. And sometimes we want to tell people to put more, to put less. Let's start with less. How do you say less? To put less something. Literally, less put a little. Yes, or、uh, more precisely, sh- should be little put bit. 少放点 Okay, little put bit. 少放点 And and more would be 多多放点 Exactly, 多放点 It's unlikely that we want to put more MSG in, or some unless、do. it's your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough pork oil or MSG. <laughs> well, well, every time I hear people saying that Chinese people are eating really healthy, so healthy, and I'm thinking, hmm, look、awesome. at my mum. <laughs> the oil in the MSG, that's what does it. <laughs> okay, so should we practice a little bit here? Okay, let's just practice with a couple. Firstly, do you remember how to say seafood sauce? 海鲜酱 Tell me, please put less seafood sauce in. 请少放点海鲜酱 Now, for Western people, when we're ordering a dish that we think is a meat dish that Doesn't have much meat, according to our standard. Eat, eating a lump of meat, <laughs> <laughs> we might want to have a little bit more pork in it, for example.、Mm. Tell me, please put a bit more pork in. Please 多放点猪肉 Okay. So, we'd like to practice more sauces.、Mm-hmm. Let's start off with just the fat and the oil. We sort of had that before, haven't yeah. we? So there will be. Yo, yo, yo. We're always trying to eat healthily, so perhaps we don't want so much oil in. Yeah, oil is still still important. It's essential. You need you need to put some in. Yes, but not swimming in it. Yeah. Tell me, please put less oil in. Please 少放点油 
Now, the sauce that I think most people outside of China associate with Chinese people is soy sauce or soya sauce. Yeah. And there will be jiang yu, jiang again. So jiang is some kind of sauce put in the urn for a long time. And soy sauce, is, it's how we made it. Yeah. Okay, sort and, of fermented bean sauce or something. That's right. Fermented and, soya sauce. Yeah. yeah. So jiang yu. Tell me, please put in more soy sauce. And you'll find when you go to China that Chinese people don't put soy sauce on their rice. <laughs> the first time I saw that, I thought that was bizarre. <laughs> A little peculiar. <laughs> Another important sauce for many Chinese dishes, especially if you're dipping something, would be vinegar. Mm -hmm. There would be two. So again, you can see there's a radical here. So vinegar is also need to be put in the urn for some time, to sit for some time. Well, also it comes from alcohol as well. Yeah, so. Tell me, please put in more vinegar. Now, often Chinese people have more salt to a North American or a European's taste. So you might want less salt. So how do you say salt? We eat, we eat healthy. Yeah. We Chinese people eat healthy. Yeah, lots of salt, lots of MSG, lots of oil. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Mm -hmm. So, salt. Yan. Yan. Tell me, please put less salt in. And the other dominant sauce in certain parts of Chinese cooking anyway would be chili. La jiao. La jiao. And sometimes the la jiao is just a little bit too la, especially if you're eating Hunan or Sichuan Tsai. Yeah, and very, very la. La, spicy. Okay, la jiao. Tell me. Please don't put any chili in it. Which is something my father needs because he can't take it at all. Yeah, and I remember I asked the, the waiter or waitresses that, uh, please, 请不要放辣椒. And her answer was, 那怎么吃呢? How do you eat it? <laughs> <laughs> How could you put it in your mouth? Yeah. So much, you know? <laughs> Especially Hunan Tsai, it's sort of almost the vegetable. <laughs> they, well, we are from Hunan Tsai, the vegetable, then everything swim in the la jiao. Okay, let's move on to the next one. At the restaurant, the waiter or the waitress might ask you, 想吃点什么? What would you like to eat? Yeah, want to eat And in my answer with questions, for example, 有没有宫保鸡丁? This is 宫保 chicken. Yeah, 宫保鸡丁, 有没有宫保鸡丁? So have you got 宫保鸡丁? And 丁 actually is cubes in, in terms of Chinese cooking. So it's chicken cubes. So you... If you pay attention, you know that gumbo chicken or the chicken pieces in cubes. Because often your chicken dishes would be the whole, with chicken. The whole chicken bits of bo um, beans, uh, bones, bones and, and things. everything, mm -hmm. yes. So we're, so we're actually going to have a look at some Sichuan dishes yes, on this today. particular one. Yeah, today we're in the Sichuan restaurant. Usually the most popular amongst Western people, I think even amongst Chinese people, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the next dish would be a tofu dish. Mm -hmm. And there would be ma po tofu. But this is not a vegetarian tofu dish, is it? No. <laughs> it actually has, it's a spicy tofu with um, shred por shredded pork in it, yeah. or bits of pork in it. That's right. And ma, ma means numb. So the kind of spice makes your town sort of um, 
it's sort of like the, the, the numbness you get from a clove. Yeah, mm. yeah. But spicy. Okay, mapo tofu. I remember I asked people don't put pork in the mapo tofu. How do you say don't put pork in the mapo tofu? Mapo tofu, you just put the dishes you want first. Mapo tofu, please do not put. Pork. That's useful. Yeah. Okay. They'll look at you like you're completely crazy, but it is useful. <laughs> yeah, they, again, they'll probably ask you, <laughs> how do we eat it? <laughs> then it's not mapo tofu anymore. Oh, well. Now, the next is a classic vegetable dish from the Sichuan uh, cuisine, and this is um, green beans, French beans. Yeah, and it's uh, dry and flat. Gan bian si ji do. Gan dry and bian is flat. I think the... Uh, I'll I, be honest with you, I don't know how you make it. I just get it at the restaurant and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have these um, um, beans sit there for a long time, so it's sort of a bit dry already, and they, they deep fried it, and so it's a bit flat as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely mm. yummy. Mm. Try it the next time you go to a Chinese restaurant. Un unfortunately, it has meat as well, pork. So, you want to order Gambian Siji, though, and how do you do that? You may gambian And of course when you order you can say Lai it Lai Gambian You order you use Lai come give me this give me this Lai Gambian And the next item on our menu will be scallions or green onions with beef. Really, really yummy. Doesn't sound very much but it's really yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how do you know? I think people around me going mmm, yum, yum, okay, yum. They shove, they shove the, all the food in their mouth. So I know that. Although I don't taste it. That's not me. I just eat it delicately. Not right. shoveling. Mm -hmm. Okay. 葱爆牛肉. Mm. 牛肉 is beef. And 爆. 爆 is... Uh, it's a cooking method, isn't it? Yeah. It's sort of a free hot pan and very quick, quick stir fry. And that's 爆. But it's a, it's a stir fry with a really, really hot pan, isn't That's it? right. And here, chong onion, or green onions. It's the scallion, isn't yeah. it? Chong bao niu rou. It's nice, I think. And here, gong bao ji ding, actually, this bao should be bao as well. So gong bao ji ding is fried chilies, a chili with a with very hot pan. And to fry, quick fry this um, chili, gong bao. Eating. And we would like a fish dish, and we're going to have a sour and spicy fish dish. Suan la yu, yu is fish. Suan la yu. Ask me, do you have suan la yu? Yo me yo suan la yu. Tell me no. Mayo. How do you say sold out? My one. My one. Put your doubt though. <laughs> Maybe the fish is gone already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And finally, we're going to have a sort of a general vegetable, fried vegetable. So this is useful whichever kind of restaurant you're in. Yeah. And it's literally fried green vegetable. That's right. Chao qing cai. Chao qing cai. So fried green vegetables. Now we're not giving you the names of the Chinese vegetables because they're just so different from what you normally have uh, here in uh, yeah. Europe and North America. Yeah. Get there and get used to it. Yeah. I, I, I very rarely see broccoli, actually, in a Chinese restaurant in China, but that's the only thing you ever seem <laughs> to see <laughs> Over in here. the West. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I'd like to have fried green vegetable. So when you order, you use lai. 
来一个炒青菜。Okay, let's move on to next one. 这道菜辣吗 ？Is this dish spicy? Yeah. So go to the restaurant. You want to find out what kind of taste it is. 这道菜辣吗 ？So this dish, 辣吗 ？Some other flavors that might be useful to have. Let's start off with sour. 酸 Remember, 酸辣鱼，酸 sour. Ask me, is this dish sour? This dish is sour? Tell me yes. Sour. So you just repeat、yeah. the word. Oh, you you would say them not too sour. Not too sour. Very sour. Very sour. Let's have a look at the opposite of sour: sweet. Sweet. Ask me, is this dish sweet? This dish is sweet. Tell me, not too sweet. Not too sweet. You probably have noticed that、uh, you really want to say just a little sweet. Okay, but Chinese way we don't really say just a, we don't say 甜一点，甜一点 would be more like a make it sweeter. Make it sweeter, yes. You、mm. know, so we don't say 甜一点 What we say was 不太甜 not too sweet. The next flavor that we're looking at will be bitter. Now this might sound unusual, but there are some bitter flavors in、uh, Chinese cooking. Yeah, 苦苦 We have a dish called 苦瓜 bitter melon. Yeah, squash. Bitter squash.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, squash, which is curiously addictive. I... Yeah, I love it. I don't, but I find I still eat it. <laughs> It's a very odd dish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ask me, is this dish bitter? This dish is bitter. Tell me yes. 苦。Oh, some people say 很苦。How about salty? 咸。So this is always very confusing to me, or was when I first began Chinese, that salt and salty are different words. Different words. <laughs> yeah, salt is 盐 and salty is 咸 Ask me, is this dish salty? 这道菜咸吗 ？Tell me, yes, it's very salty. 很咸。And finally, we're going to use oily. And there will be. You just say oil, don't you? That's right. Yo. Ask me, is this dish oily? 这道菜油吗 ？Tell me no. 不油 ，according which to Chinese. Which you don't believe. <laughs> according to Chinese standard, 不油 ，Yeah. That brings us to the end of episode three of Chinese Language Builder Food and Drink, and we're doing one more. One more.、Yeah. In this series, then we'll、yeah. do some others, and then come back in、yeah. a few weeks' time to add some more food and drink. Yeah. Okay. Just in case you get. Sick of just talking about food and drink. Yeah, next week we are going to be in the restaurant. You're going to order. You're going to wait for the food, and you are going to talk about food. And maybe the food is too sweet, too too salty, and we might do、uh, file some complaints as well. Okay, right. Okay. Until、yeah. then, 再见再见 Have fun.